Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be showing off the Queen Bee kit. And this kit has two gimmicks. So it has the glide ability, which allows you to hover for a little bit of time. It, the uh, the hovering starts getting like lower, lower, and lower. As you just drop to the floor. So it's not like uh, the new balloons, but it allows you to hover. Um, and then there's also the, bee the explosive beehives. The explosive beehives can be used as a launcher and they can be used as an attacking weapon. They do about like 40 damage. Uh, it does like chip damage, but in all, like in total, it just does about like 40, yeah, it does about like 40 damage, which is pretty good actually. I don't think Blue actually has someone on their team, so I think I can just go rush. Yeah, I think I can just go grab their gen and break their bed. I would show off the ability right now, but I think I'll just cut to a part where I can actually, like, use it. Because I don't want to waste my beehive right now. Hey guys, my dumb self forgot to mention that you actually get one beehive every single time you kill someone. So if you're wondering what happens when I kill someone and I get a beehive, that explains it. Also, you get, the one, you get one at the start of every match. Just wanted to clear that up because, um... I forgot to say that in the intro part, and I don't feel like recording the intro part again, so later, bye! Alright, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of rushing uh, yellow right now. I'm just getting some stuff so I can uh, tank their hits more. There we go. Alright, that should be good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go rush them right now. Let's do this. Explosive to beehive. Nice! Okay, perfect. Got their bed, and now I gotta prepare for carnage, because... Oh! They die? Guess so. We're gonna get a crossbow real quick, because, uh, we kinda need mid-control. Or we need, we just need control in general. Like, getting crossbow is one of the best things in the game, uh, to do. Alright, that's enough, uh, emeralds, so we can just head back and go store those in a chest until we get the right diamonds. I don't know why I bought armor protection. If I realized that it was gonna be this easy to take down um, the other team, I, I, I guess like, they probably wouldn't have done that. Okay, so now we can just go take on the diamond gen guy and I can go get myself a crossbow. Actually, I don't even need to take this guy down. I'll just go back. Ooh, we're also gonna need more iron. Look at this. Like we're not getting much iron and we also need armor as well. So I guess we'll just do this. Here's a tip for uh, new bed wars or this current se season. Try and build bridges like this so you don't get hit off. Because now bow spammers can just hit you off so easily and I don't like that. Because balloons like kind of prevented bow spamming from being such a huge issue. Like it's not like um, bow spamming was super bad because you could just hide behind things. But now it's kind of bad because there's like no resistance to if you fall. Only like certain kits, like only some kits can actually like recover from falling into the void. Like I guess Fisher because they are like one of the only kits who can find balloons still. Okay, oh, here we go. Uh, not good. Uh, yeah. Okay, so um, that's why this kit is kind of useful. It's such a good mobility kit. Like you can just fling yourself across the map. Uh, I've had some struggles with the other games, but that's just because they got a crossbow and they got way better loot before I did. So, I really have no complaints with this kit. It's such a, like, solid, like, tier 20 kit. I'm gonna get even more solider because I got better armor. You can also buy beehives from the shop. I'm no I don't know if I already stated that, but you can buy it for, like, 40... Yeah, 40 iron. You can buy it for 40 iron. And I can go over here. And just quickly grab some of this iron. And I can get more beehives. We're also gonna get some telepros as well. Okay, it's, it's just me and green. Are they even gonna do anything? Where are they? Are they just hiding? Or are they AFK? Oh, I see them. Oh, they're just building a really sturdy bed defense, aren't they? That's gonna be fun to penetrate, isn't it? Well. At least I'm coming prepared. Mm, what should I buy? What should I buy? Yeah, that should be good. I'll just buy a bunch of teleports. Well, um, you know what? We'll just kill him just to reset his progress, I guess. Or actually, no, we'll just we'll just bomb his bed. 
All right, no fall damage. Wait, will that reflect it back? Oh, it won't. Nice. Thank you for a beehive. I gotta find a game plan. I gotta find a way to break into this bed. You know what? We'll just do this. That's your bed. Now I can fly away. Let's go. Guess he's at Diamond Gem. I don't know what he's doing. Oh. He just straight up. He. What? Um. He, he just. Well, I guess that's GG. Uh, we'll move on to the next game. Okay, we are in the second game now. Uh, let's hope that we can actually get a fun game. Uh, these solo matches are pretty fast. So I at least want to try and get like a five minute video out of this. Okay, we're starting and it looks like... Oh, it looks like they're a shielder kit. Okay. I'm not disappointed or anything. It's just that like, I'm a little nervous because... I, I don't know why. I think they know what they're doing. That's a thing. Or not. I don't know. I usually get scared when people use um, free-to-play kits because I feel like they know what they're doing. Although he did just leave his bed unguarded, I guess. He didn't decide to go check for me, so... Alright, just grab your bed. Oh wait, no, he did get someone else's bed. Alright, got your bed. Now you can go back to base. Get some more stuff. And get some diamonds in the middle. Alright, wait until it hits three seconds. And then I can teleport back. This is also a tip I, I recommend for you guys. Teleport once uh, once you know the last diamond or last emerald in your generator is about to spawn. Like, try and teleport then because you'll grab it, but you'll also be running back at the same time. I don't think I need to explain it, but... Because I think pe people like you guys are are smart enough to understand, but it's just a quick thing I, I thought of. Okay, I, I spy a player. Oh, oh no, what is he doing? What, what is, what? Oh, he's got a beehive, he's got a beehive. Nope, I'm running away. There we go. Shouldn't have done that. Why did you approach my base? Without thinking that I could have a beehive and kill you. I flew away for a reason. I also got an iron sword as well. Like, I I'm surprised they didn't put two and two together and realize I got a better sword. Like, usually when someone's running toward a store, it means they're about to buy something that gives them an advantage. Which is why they're gonna rush at you and attack you. So, like, if someone ever reaches a store before they get you, or before you get to them... I would just recommend backing off because they probably have better stuff. We're gonna get uh, armory with this once we get to man and get a crossbow. Or get not get a crossbow, but get crossbow materials, I guess. Red, are you gonna try and head for middle as well? No, 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 no. Yep, you lose. that we'll put wool here put an arrow here and boom ready to go there we go oh i just realized something okay so uh, i just killed a diamond guardian i think i'm cutting to this part because the other part was kind of boring but you can actually get beehives from that if you kill guardians you can actually get beehives from that so that's really intriguing i'm not sure if they're gonna patch that or not but like you can actually get beehives from guardians that's good to know like, my whole, my whole playstyle revolves around using a lot of iron. Like, a lot of it, considering how 
I need to get arrows and I need to get beehives, so... Yeah, alright, let's just grab this diamond and we're gonna go take on this guy. Please don't tell me your diamond armor. Hi, Buster. Oh, crap. He's trying to juke me. Ooh, that's a smart juke, actually. But, uh... Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna tell you, uh, ahead of time. If you're gonna do a, do a juke multiple times, you best believe I'm gonna start learning. Like, he just did, like, the same juke, like, three times and didn't expect me not to understand. Also, who was that guy? I, I don't know who that was. I don't know if that was a final kill or not. But, uh, I killed him. Found another victima. Get 40 damage. Yep. Touch me. I dare you. Try and try and get close to me. Actually, I kind of want to attack you. Is this the okay? This is the Duke guy. Nice. Uh, Green is kind of just following me. I guess I'm landing on their base, so I would understand why. Nice. Alright, got diamond armor. Oh yeah, he's got nothing to hit me. I can just chill at his base and do nothing. Does he have a bed? Actually, no, I don't think so. I don't think he has a bed. And then I can just go up here. Nice. I can just damage you from here. Nice. I can yeah, I can literally just snipe you. Nice. Okay. That should be GG. Man, he really doesn't want to die. I salute that, but like, can you just- Yeah, there we go. GG. And that is how you use the Queen Bee Kit. So, it's really all about mobility, and it's also a really good attacker. I didn't pair it with enchants for this video, because this is solo matches, but it's actually a pretty good kit. I didn't get the most amount of kills, but I actually did move around a lot. And it's actually quite overpowered, like, as a ranged kit. Like, let's say you have someone trapped in an area as small as that. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all later. Love you. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye.